friends welcome back to another video if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by my name is Jen and I am the eager vlogger today is another exciting video for us because we are finally going to reallocate the money that we've saved up from our savings challenges going towards our sinking funds for the new year so if you have watched our previous video we pulled out all the money that we've saved from our savings challenges whether it was completed or not and we actually have $215 saved up that we can use to start up our 2024 sinking fund categories so I thought that's a, a great idea to have like a starting balance for our categories here especially we are now working on more savings goals for the new year so we are also going to start our savings challenges in the new year anyway so let's focus on our sinking funds first so if you are interested in this video please stay tuned until the end don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and join me on this video all right so let's move aside our savings challenges binder for now and let's get straight to our sinking funds so we have 215 to work with and i've already planned out the numbers or the amounts that we will put on each of these categories so let's start with butchi for butchi this is a low priority for now so also i've cleaned the trackers and I'm, I'm using some of my own printable trackers and some from my friend Bridget. Um, these envelopes are also from her. So that, we're gonna add just five. And now Butchie has five, I mean 10. So I'm also going to try my best to be consistent in using the trackers, whether I add money or I uh, pull out money. Today is December 13, I believe. And we added, so I'm just gonna say we added 10 because I forgot to add the starting balance here. So plus 10, and now she has 10. Okay. okay let's pick up the pace here. Celebrations, um, for these amounts that I want to start with our categories, I also thought of the events, the celebrations, or yeah, special dates that we have, at least for the first quarter of 2024, so that I'll know how much I have to save up first. So here in our celebrations, I mentioned this will be for our um, like the extra holidays that are not birthdays or uh, the bigger occasions like Valentine's, Mother's Day, things like that. So the first celebration that we'll have for the new year is Valentine's. And I think $50 for us will be fine. Um, this is only for takeout. We like to buy pizza and have movie nights at home. So that's our goal. For celebrations, I'm gonna put $10 here. I figured um, with our paycheck, this will be not as a high priority. So I'm just gonna give it extra now while we can. So I'm gonna put 13 plus 10. So that we can reach 50 at least before Valentine's. Okay. Clothing will get 10 as well. These trackers are also from my friend Birgit. She gave me these as freebies, which is so generous of her. So we're starting again with our clothing fund. Mostly, this will be for my daughter because she is she's growing so fast. She's still um, she's almost three years old, and like her clothes right now, um, they're almost all too small for her. So I figured by next year, first quarter, we need to buy new ones. So 10. Daddy will get 5. This is a low priority. So for our envelopes, me, my partner, and Bucci, I'm just using my own here. So now he has 15. 
I'm gonna put it all together this time. But next time, we need to be consistent in tracking. So, team. Date night. Uh, this tracker, again, from my friend Bridget. So she has wonderful trackers and envelopes, guys. You guys should check her Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. The date night, the first um, goal or event that we have here is our anniversary. It's still in March, but my goal is to have 150 saved up. So for now, I'm giving it, I'm gonna give it 15 actually. This will be one of the categories as well that we can set aside if we don't have enough from our paycheck so now that i can add more i'm gonna put more so this is ten dollars per pair for pair of hearts but since i'm only going to put 15 so oh it's like five dollars per heart and then a pair would be 10 so i colored three and that means fifteen dollars right future so future is for our again for our pr journey here in canada that's our first goal and it's still continuing um i haven't changed my tracker yet i'm gonna finish this tracker uh, because we are still saving up for the last 100 to pay fully uh pay ourselves fully for the cell pip exam that my partner did for today we're going to put 20 in here and i have i had 50 here before so that was colored in i'm gonna color in how much did we put 20 10 dollars per leaf so one two so that is 20 dollars there oh and now we have 20 40 60 70 30 dollars more these uh this is the placeholder that we have uh, for the money that we had in the savings account this is for our application fee which is 500 dollars. so now we have 250 here and we're gonna keep going until we need to use it we we open up our profile for the nominee provincial nominee but we don't need to pay the application fee yet until we get the invitation letter so we we still have time to save up for that application fee health will get 20 money here comes and goes because i'm paying continuously for our cairo appointment for my massage appointment so health is getting 20 today usually when we reach 100 here i pay it i pay it to the clinic so plus 20 and now we have 20 to start with it's just amazing how much we saved up from those savings challenges that i didn't even notice so we will definitely continue on doing that the next year household will get 10 we're trying to build this fund up for our pantry stockpile so is this tracker still correct 5 10 15 20 yep and then i'll add 10 so that means um plus 10 now we have 30 all right we have 30 dollars in household now love fund would be for gifts or giving like donations the first one that we have here so i didn't put a savings goal or like a goal amount because this will be an ongoing fund as birthdays come and i'm gonna put here 10 for now so gifts or like let's say um mother's day yes we have the celebration fund but gift wise if i'm gonna give a gift to my aunt then i can get it from here so gift giving is in the love fund 12 13 plus okay how much did i put here again 10 oh no 
my brain is not working properly today. Okay, 10 there. Mama will get five. So we still have like the system that if it's a low priority in the budget, at the moment it gets five. If it's a little bit a higher priority, then you, you'll see, we'll stuff 15, 20, or more. Month ahead, like this one. Month ahead today, I will put here $30 because... Okay, I got cut off there. Um, what was I saying now? Uh, we are going to add $30 in this fund now because we've paid our disney plus annual subscription using the 125 dollars we've saved up here last time silly me i thought that was already the price for the annual but turns out it is in dollars i mean us dollars and when i look at our bank account the the amount that was debited was 170 that's in canadian dollars for the annual which is I don't know, maybe it's um, in addition to our last month's uh, f monthly fee plus the annual subscription. So I need to pay back the difference. And this is going to be it. 25, 35, 40, 45. So this will actually go back to the bank. But I'll put it here. We're going to wait for payday so that I don't have to withdraw as much. I'm just gonna swap this to the amount that we need to take out from the bank and pay this back to our checkings account. Subscriptions will get five for now because we have a whole year to save up for this. For our annual subscriptions, we pay it now. We are going to pay it every December. So uh, this will be for the next year, December. So we still have a long way to go and I'm gonna use this tracker family fun because we love watching Disney Plus, the whole family. This is $10 per balloon though, so maybe I will color half of the balloon. All right, next time we can add some more money here. But these are nice actually and fun. You don't have to have boring trackers. So TV budgets, how much do we have here? I've been wanting to buy a lot of materials and uh, like budgeting materials, but I need to save up for it. So we're adding five here and now we have 15. That would be like our starting balance. 15, $15. I didn't also put savings a savings goal here because for sure money will also go in and out of this envelope. As we need to use it, then it will just be pulled out. Family will be $5 for now. But we have a lot here already. 20, 30, 35, 40. So that would be our starting amount here. Seems like a lot, but we actually just put $5. That's okay. What's important is what's inside. And that's what we are able to track. Debt payoff. Here, we are going to give it 10. Every $100, we decide where to pay this towards. So, and I was initially planning to pay this amount or this envelope towards our cash loans but well it depends on the situation so sometimes i put it extra towards our credit card payments or the philippine credit cards so now we have 20 40 50 55 60 and because i cleaned this up we have to recolor 60 i'm just gonna do this for now one two three four five six so six icons, $10 each icon. That is it. I'll put it in front. Okay, we're almost done, I think. Let's just see what is left. 
car fund so we're hoping to really um, start this next year and buy a car so for each car here on my tracker it's ten dollars this one i started last time i was able to put 10 and i pulled it out right away so um i did not erase that we are going to do it again and of course we're not gonna pull out the money anymore because this is our goal for the new year so travel for now we'll just get five and i forgot to put the tracker here I don't have one on hand, so I'm just going to put later. So again, this is for our long-term tra uh, travel goal. And that is it for our savings or our sinking funds here. We have just two things left to stuff. And that is in our savings challenges, we have the Christmas fund. The Christmas savings, where is it? we are going to add our first 20 here guys so each bulb um, is 20 dollars this is also from my good friend Bridget, and i'm so excited to do this so we're gonna give it a jump start 20 on our christmas savings challenge for next year and we're gonna color the first christmas bulb here there we go so i'm excited and a little bit nervous because 20 dollars per bulb and you know me i usually just stuff five dollars at a time but we can do this i am very confident we can so that's that and then now we have 15 dollars left so i'm gonna share you something i am creating my envelope savings challenge um, right now i don't really know if i'm going to do the 52 weeks envelope uh, challenge or the 100 envelope savings challenge so i don't have a tracker yet and i only have 15 envelopes here actually i'm just reusing the papers the designer papers that i had before so i'm just cutting it and taping it on the sides this will do for now but i feel like it's so much fun to do it this way than just stuffing in the envelope especially with big amounts like it's going to be a very very long time doing this so i find myself um, getting bored in the middle of it when i just stuff it in one envelope so i am trying this out just to see if this will motivate me to save and not pull out the money so we'll start with a fifteen dollars so i already have ten dollars here actually so i've put my first ten there i'm gonna fix these envelopes and i'll share it to you guys in a better way next time but for now bear with me I just want to stuff these here which is so exciting so five dollars and then what do you think i'm gonna leave the one to four envelopes for now because we already have ten and i'm, I'm gonna try my best to round up right oh but if we're rounding up then that means oh my goodness guys this is such a mess okay four i'm gonna make it five you see i even have do i have a coin here no so this one here Ooh, it's already so satisfying to see money being stuffed so there you go guys all right so i'm gonna fix this and i'm gonna um decide on what we're going to do whether the 52 weeks or 100 envelope challenge and the next time you'll see this i will share with you the tracker as well and that is it for our video for today um exciting that we already have starting balances on our sinking funds and i hope that this will continue to grow throughout the whole 2024 will be able to reach our financial goals faster and better than what we did this year so i hope you stayed with me until the end and please don't forget to like and subscribe 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you again next time. Bye guys.